One of my favorite layering pieces for the transitional season and for springtime is a blazer. I think it can help make your outfits very stylish, Plus, it can help keep you just a little bit warm when it gets a t when it's a tad chilly, but it's starting to warm up, and you don't necessarily need a coat because sometimes it's really hard to layer a coat over your blazers. Which I actually wore this to church on Sunday, and I put a coat over it, and it actually did work. But uh, it's a little bit more comfortable when you don't have to do that, and it's just a really nice outfit finisher. So I want to show you ten outfits. These range from workwear and dressier all the way to really casual athleisure looks. So I hope you enjoy these looks. I hope they inspire you to pull out a blazer that you have or maybe get a new one. This is a new one for me because I wanted to try this blazer in my Walmart haul. If you have not seen that, I will link it for you. But it's a cotton blazer, so I think it's going to work throughout the spring and maybe even summer. I like carrying things that I can put on when I go inside. But this is actually very versatile and will go with a lot of things even though it is a check pattern. So we will go ahead and jump in, but I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you love it, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So there are six trends that I want to mention that are your blazer trends for 2024. And the first one is your relaxed fit blazer. This is going to replace your oversized look that has been really big for so long. And I know a lot of us didn't really love that trend. And so the relaxed fit blazer, like your boyfriend blazer, is something that's been around for a while. And I think that's going to be what a lot of people are going to wear instead of that oversized blazer. And then you have your double-breasted blazers, which I think look a little bit more expensive. They look a little nice and you can find some inexpensive ones like the one I have on and ones that fit a little bit better than others so you kind of have to choose uh, one that works for you but the double-breasted blazer is going to be pretty big and then your tailored blazer so we're going more away from your oversized sloppy looks to more of your tailored looks and then a cinched waist, which is so beautiful. A blazer that either is belted or ties at the waist looks good on a lot of different body shapes and can actually highlight your waist if you have a little bitty waist. And then faux leather is going to be a good trend for 2024 still, and you're going to find some fun blazers and faux leather, so you could absolutely do that. And then a pop of color. So if you have not added color to your wardrobe in a while, definitely maybe try one. If you don't want to do a handbag, maybe try some type of jacket or a blazer because you will be able to find lots of beautiful colors from blue to green, yellow, pink, and red, I think, for the spring and summer seasons. So this blazer that I have on has a very classic feel to it. I think it's a style that stays in for a long time and the check really never goes out of style. And so I wanted to pair it with something that was a little bit edgier. So I chose my faux leather pants. And I love this outfit because it looks somewhat dressed up but is so incredibly comfortable. So if you don't like wearing slacks, maybe choose a um, faux leather pant like this that is more in a jean style and it fits really nice. And it might be a little bit more comfortable to you and look a little bit more dressed up and I did put on my ankle booties here this is a great transitional outfit that you could wear and if you had a pair of faux leather pants that were in a lighter color like an ivory and then put an ivory ankle boot on that would just look fantastic as well but I didn't have those options and I wanted to show you that I think faux leather goes really well with a classic blazer like this and I did add another fun element which is a pop of color with a handbag which I just wanted to say that's something you can do if you have a more neutral outfit on like this that's maybe a black and white or black and cream combination, that pop of color will give it a little bit more interest. And then the other outfit I wanted to show you, faux leather, which I'm just kind of combining these two together, and it just depends on your personality of what one you will do. But I love the faux leather shorts with this, and I love wearing shorts with the blazer as long as you can see them outside the blazer and they're not shorter than the blazer, which some people do, and it looks cute on some people. It's just not something that I prefer, and I think it looks better if the short is a little bit longer or at least to the hem of the blazer. But I did make this a little bit more casual, kind of a runaround outfit, and I just put my hair back and I put my glasses on just because I felt like it. And then I put on my Golden Goose sneakers because I thought this outfit just screamed for a cute sneaker. So this is something that I would just wear daily when it's transitioning and I want to put a pair of shorts on. But I still think it's a little bit chilly outside and I just have to run around and get some things done. So this would be a go-to for me. 
So this is actually one of my favorite casual outfits that I put together for this video because I'm a huge fan of ripped jeans. They don't have to be ripped all over. I don't like that, but I don't mind a couple of rips in the knee. And I think this is something that is still popular to wear. And I just think it creates a fun look when you pair something like this with a blazer and just a white t-shirt. So my white t-shirt is cropped, which is on trend, but you don't have to do that. You can just put on your regular white t-shirt, even if it's loose and relaxed, maybe just front tuck it. And then I put on my loafers and then added my woven handbag to this, which I think both have a very classic feel like the blazer. So I thought they mixed in very well with an outfit like this and just made it a little bit more interesting and maybe even surprising to you that but, uh, it looks really good and I just love mixing in pieces that give your outfits a little bit of edge and a little bit more style and I do think that this is a modern way that you can wear your more classic blazers so the distressed jeans and blazer combination has been a combination for a while but it's something that always looks good but this combination is a little bit newer I think it's fun and it's probably my favorite newest way to wear a blazer and that is to put a hoodie underneath it and I've talked about this I, I created outfits with a hoodie sweater for the fall but I've got a sleeveless hoodie on here that I got last year from Old Navy and I just love it under my blazers especially during that transitional time and then I just put it on with my favorite kick flare jeans that are in a light wash you can just do a straight leg or even a skinny jean here if you wanted to and then my favorite retro sneakers and I thought this was a fun combination that you could wear just running around to be comfortable but also look really stylish and cute and of course I have my sling bag on here which when I am running around my favorite style bag to have is a crossbody or a sling bag like this and the sling bags are still a really big trend this is actually just a belt bag that's worn as a sling but they, they call it a sling bag um, but you could wear it around your waist if you wanted to but that's just not the cool way to wear them anymore so you want to sling it across the body and this one actually sits really comfortable and so think about that if you want a hands-free bag and you don't want to do a backpack you could try a fun sling bag but this outfit combination I think is one of the newest ways to just make your blazer look a little bit more sporty a little bit more on trend and it'll actually make it really comfortable and fun to wear so I think a great way to dress up your cutoff shorts during the transitional season once you are ready to throw some shorts on is to put them on with a blazer so I just put them on with the bodysuit that I have on here that's in green and the blazer and then my sneakers that have a little bit of green on them that are the retro styling and I absolutely think this is so comfortable and again the shorts are longer so they come past the blazer and you could put any style of blazer with an outfit like this a solid black one a tan one uh, a colored blazer if you wanted to and just switch the top underneath but I love this combination I think it's a great way to make your cutoff shorts look very stylish and it makes them super easy to wear when you're ready to wear shorts and it's still a little bit cool outside so now for an outfit that's a little bit dressier for you ladies that like to dress up a little bit I put the blazer over my favorite linen jumpsuit and then I added a belt to cinch the waist and what this does since you have solid color from head to toe underneath that blazer is the belt actually helps to create some definition and it'll help you with your proportions of your body and I also put on a flat here that has a point toe and has the black cap at the toe so it also helps elongate so if you're shorter and you have on something that's cropped and wide leg like this that's a really good way to make yourself look a little bit taller maybe you'll just feel a little bit taller if you want to now you don't have to if you don't care and you don't care about your proportions no big deal wear whatever shoes you want but that's just a tip if you want to look a little bit taller or just want to have better looking proportions in your body and this outfit is great for business attire it's great if you have meetings or if you're going to church or you just want to be dressed up I really love this look and I think you can use whatever style blazer you love with an outfit like this and it's going to work pretty well I also wanted to mention that if you're interested in a linen jumpsuit like this I thought this one was so easy to wear and just perfect and I got it last year at loft and it is back in stock again this year so I will link it for you if you're interested in something like this so a super easy and on-trend outfit that you could put together with your blazer is to wear a button-up shirt which a lot of us do have and it's a good classic piece and a midi denim skirt which is a very big trend and if you do not have one you should definitely check out the one I have on because it's $24 
$5 from Walmart. I think it was the best piece that I found from my Walmart haul. It's cotton with 1% spandex and it fits like a glove. So you guys should definitely check it out if you want a denim midi skirt. But this outfit definitely with the blazer being a little bit longer and the midi skirt is kind of that weird length, especially on someone who's shorter like me. I'm 5'4". But I think you have to think about your proportions here again and your height and not looking frumpy in this outfit because the blazer is a little bit longer and it covers the more of the top half of your body. And then that with that midi skirt, you definitely should put on some type of heel with this or some type of platform, maybe a platform sneaker if you wanted it to be a little bit more casual. But I chose a woven black heel here. You could also do a nude color if you wanted to just keep with that, you know, just kind of seamless uh, look when you're looking at you. It's not really going to stop your eye like the black shoe does. But I didn't mind the black shoe because it kind of went back with the blazer that has black in it. But it's definitely personal preference. But those are some things that you can think about if you're putting together an outfit like this. And I did absolutely tuck in the shirt. So if you don't like tucking things in, you could tie it up or maybe find one that's just a little bit shorter. But it definitely creates better proportions when you do that as well. A really fun option to put underneath your blazer would be a lace top or blouse, whatever you want to call it. But lace is a trend that has been going for a while and I just think it's so beautiful. And I think it just gives the blazer a little bit of a dressier feel. So if you want to be dressed up and you want to be dressed up in your jeans, this would be a good way to go. And I did put this on with my flare jeans because that's my dressier jeans that I have. And I love putting them on with my Mary Janes, which have a chunky heel to them. And Usually with a flare jean, it's better if you just get your heel off the ground a bit and you can let that um, flare leg just land in the right spot. So I love this type of outfit if you want to look really stylish but be really put together and dressed up, then this is a good way to go, especially if you want to be dressed up in your jeans. And I did add a belt to this because thicker belts are really on trend for 2024. And I love that it draws your attention into the lace blouse and then it creates a slender waistline underneath that blazer and then you have the flare jeans. So this to me is the most flattering look with a blazer and probably the most dressed up in jeans that you could get. So I actually read in an article that putting a denim shirt underneath your blazer was a big thing for 2024. And a lot of times when I read things, I have to try it on just to see if I like it. And I absolutely loved it. And I have talked about a denim shirt being really big in 2024. I mentioned it in one of my trends videos. And I think if you have a great chambray or just a denim shirt that you can throw under a blazer, I think it looks great. And you can see in this outfit that I've put together that it's a fun look and I think even the shirt tail hanging out just a little bit looks good and it's a great casual look that I decided to create with my ivory jeans because I thought that this combination was a little bit better than trying to match the denim with the denim shirt but you could absolutely do that. But I also put on a pair of neutral ivory sneakers because that is another big trend that is going for 2024. And instead of neutral outfits, you're going to choose some neutral sneakers maybe. But I did love that there was just a very solid look from my waist to my toes. So it just went continuously. And I just thought this looked a little bit better because the shirt and the blazer are longer and the outfit on top was a little bit heavier. And so I do think the trainer style heavier sneaker worked here too, as opposed to your slimmer fashion sneaker, because you do have a little bit of bulk on your top half and that helps balance it out a bit. So you could do many, many versions of this. You could tuck the shirt in if you wanted to. You could put on black jeans or just a regular pair of jeans if you don't mind that um, what do they call it? The Canadian tuxedo look or just denim from head to toe, whatever you want to call it. But I did love this and I thought it was a good option. If you don't like the white button up shirt, maybe choose something like your denim or chambray button up shirt. And it just has a really fun look. And I think you could do it under any style blazer and a pop of color would be fun with this one as well. So there are two big trends in 2024, one I already mentioned, which are the thicker belts, and then two, wearing a belt over your blazer is a big trend. And that started in 2023, and it's going to continue in 2024, especially since you're going to see blazers actually made with belts or ties. But you could take your own blazer, put it on with either jeans or pants like I have done here, and cinch the waist with a belt. And this is a very unique look. 
It's fun to do if you don't mind doing it. Your blazer can't be too, too loose because then you get too much material cinching in and it looks a little bit weird. But with your more fitted styles, your double breasted styles, things that um, it would work with, then you can definitely do this. You can wear a thicker belt if you want to, or you could even try a thinner belt, which I have done with another plaid blazer that I have. And I put that in videos that I did last year. But this is a fun look if you just want something a little bit different. And this is more business oriented um, that I created here but it could be something that you just want to dress up those flare jeans that you just saw in one of those outfits so I just wanted to show you this because it is a big trend and it's something that you could try if you just want something a little bit different so an easy way to update and add some style to your athleisure looks and this is a great thing to do if you have to run out of the house quickly is to grab your favorite blazer and put it over that outfit and so here I've just taken the blazer and put it over a black t-shirt and my black joggers and I have my retro sneakers on and of course I added my sling bag or belt bag whatever you want to call it and the blazer just makes this look more like an outfit it looks more put together it looks like I thought about it and it just looks very stylish so this is a good way to make your athleisure looks that may not look as good if you threw a cardigan or you know some other style jacket or even a utility jacket over it I think the blazer just gives it a little bit more of a smart feel and a little bit more of a modern feel so definitely try this the next time you have to run out of the house and it's a little bit cool and you don't need a heavy coat and you can try a blazer and see if it works for you so as always, I would love to know which outfit was your favorite and which one you will be wearing in 2024. And if there's something that you love wearing your blazers with and I did not mention it, please let me know in the comments below. And also I wanna mention this because a lot of people ask me questions for links. And I just wanna tell you that there is a view products on the screen that you'll see throughout the video that are links specifically from YouTube, but they do not have all of the retailers that I use in my clothing because I shop from various places. So if you do not see the links there, you will probably see them in the description below. So do not be afraid to look in the description. Um, I try to provide you with everything that you want and need um, but if you don't see it in either places and I somehow missed it like sometimes I miss linking the things that I have on in the video when I'm talking to you so definitely ask me and I will gladly send it to you and thank you so much for your attention to all those details and thank you for your support and for watching my videos so if you love this video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing especially if you have not subscribed yet and you watch my videos all the time and you can also hit the notifications to tell you when I I post videos which I try to do two a week. So thanks again and I will talk to you next time.